Hello, my name is Demers Goscott. I work with Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries Division. I'm about to do a footage on how we protect our marine ecology in Montego Bay. Located in Montego Bay, Jamaica, the Montego Bay Marine Park is a national protected area that encompasses the sea from Great River to Sangster International Airport. The trust that manages the marine park does scientific monitoring, educational outreach to schools and communities, and interpretive enforcement of fishing within the park. To help you understand why Montego Bay is worth protecting today, I will discuss tropical marine ecology. A habitat is the natural home of an organism. It is the place which an animal needs in order to carry out its daily activities and complete its life cycle. No habitat means no survival, which means no animal. The Montego Bay Marine Park is home to four main types of habitats, mangroves, estuaries, seagrass beds, coral reefs. Red mangroves, typical example of what is behind me. They are the most recognized species of all three mangroves. It has large leathery leaves. It has prop roots with aerial interlock roots which enable for breathing. Red mangrove is the most important species for fish habitat as it is the most tolerant to water. Red mangrove are produced by long sea pods. Know them recognize them and protect them. Behind me is a typical example of a black mangrove. Their pointy leaves have a salty undersurface. This is how the tree filters out salt from the water it needs. These mangroves prefer shallow water than the red mangroves. You will find the black mangroves closer into shore than the red mangroves. Black mangrove has small roots snorkeling up through from the water and wetland areas. Example of what is here. These are called nematophores. These soft spongy nematophores are susceptible to trampling by people and cows that pass through the areas. This is an example of a typical white mangrove. White mangroves are the least tolerant to water of the three mangroves that are found within the Caribbean. White mangroves have roundish leaves with two nodes at leaf base. Estuaries. Estuaries are murky, shallow, and high nutrient water near a river mouth. They serve as nursery habitat for jewfish, snapper, tarpon, barracuda, crab, shrimp. Estuaries are usually associated with mangroves. Mangroves is important because it stabilizes shorelines, breaking income waves, and because it has prop roots. This is how the tree filters water in estuaries. Seagrass beds. 
There are two main types of seagrass beds in Montego Bay. The first is turtle grass, otherwise known as Thalassia testudium. This is the most common and recognizable species. The blades are long and flattened like regular land grass. Prefers shallower, clearer water. Turtle grass can grow in reef areas in sand and rubble amongst the corals. Shallow beds are important habitat for juvenile conch, lobster, and parrotfish. Feeding adult habitat for turtle, conch, grunt, snapper. Breeding habitat for sharks and rays. Manatee grass, Caribbean seagrass with round tube-like leaves, often colonize damaged areas of turtle grass. Manatee grass often occurs in deeper areas with finer substrates.